Hey, today I would like to show you how to visualize queuing and congestion in a network. Um, it is it will look like a kind of like a heat map just on links. Um, what we need to do, so I'm going to use like a template model here, just a signalized intersection. We need to go to evaluation, configuration. We need to make sure that links is selected, so you collect data for links, and the from time to time, it is a one hour model, so I'm going to use from zero to one hour, 3.6 thousand seconds. And I want the interval to be 900 seconds, so that means I will get uh, the data aggregated for each 15 minute period. You can change it to one hour or, or something like that if you want, just I can show you a bit more if I do this. Okay. Um, we right click on the links and do show list. We select with control A all of them. So just click here, control A. By default, you probably not going to have these two attributes. So let me just delete. And what you want is you want to add link evaluation active and link evaluation segment length. You just double click on these or click on the green arrow and they will uh, appear here in the quick view links. And you can open this attribute selection window by clicking on this wrench icon. So what you want to do is you need to make sure that all the uh, links are selected and then you click link evaluation active. So you want to make sure that if it's off or it just shows that uh, colored square or something, you need to make sure there is a tick there. And the link evaluation segment length by default it is 10 meters, but we can reuse it now to make it more, uh, give it a bit more resolution to it. Let's close that one. And what we need to do is we just need to run it now for an hour. So let me just put the quick mode on and it is ready. <clears throat> let me use the simple network display so it removes all the um, stuff we don't want to look at. Okay, so now to visualize it, we have already extracted the data by running it and by having the evaluation uh, tick down for links. Now we just need to set up the visual uh, appearance. So click on the edit graphic parameters here on this tiny little icon. Go down to drawing mode. Click on the little arrow and use color scheme. It will bring this window up. Here we want to select segments because um, this kind of data, the density, so we will show density that is collected for segments and that is what we set up as well. And now click on the here and the attribute, this little pencil. Go to density. As you can see, there is a plus. So let's click on that. We have one simulation run, which is shown before the first X. So the first of the three segments of this is the simulation run. The second segment is the interval. So zero to 900 and so on. So for each 15 minute, but you can also pick the maximum, minimum, average, total, and so on. If you have multiple runs, you know, this average makes sense or standard deviation, but we only have one simulation run, we just did. Then the last, the third segment is the vehicle type. At this, um, in this example, we only have um, all vehicle types aggregated together. So we did not separate out cars, HGVs, and so on. As you remember in the evaluation, we did not set it up. So let's pick the current run. But uh, if you have one run, the average or the others will be the same. Mm -mm. So let's pick the first 15 minutes. Okay. Here, the class bounds. You need to set up basically the color. So what does the what density should have what color? You could do it manually by adding new and new rows. But you can just delete those and do pick the density one. It already sets up the rows, the bounds and the colors. However, I'm not happy with these colors. I want to have 
green, orange, or amber, and red, and red to be the uh, most congested. So what you can do is you can just select it, these numbers, copy cells, and let's select another one, which is a green, amber, red. So it has this, or the color setup, and just basically paste cells, and there you have it. Okay. What you can also do is you can legend includes link colors ticked on and go here, edit basic graphic parameters and show legend. And now you can visualize. As you can see, vehicle per kilometer is the unit. So the, this is the reason why these legends can be useful. A trick, if you see a lot of greens and not a lot of choice of colors, or you want to just tweak these numbers, if we go back, just double click on those three dots there, select all of them, and say equal, multiply 0 0.06 or 0 0.07, so basically, you will multiply all of that by 0 0.7, so you shift a little bit. You increase the resolution in the bottom end. So you have a bit of more variability, more variability here. And you can play around with these. You can change the color scheme, you can change the numbers, <laughs> and you can do other uh, attributes. You can keep trying uh, different ones. So if you go back there, you can go here and try different attributes. You can change the settings in evaluation for segment lengths. You can try lanes and you can see what kind of uh, attributes are available if you use lanes. Not a lot to be fair for links, but maybe it is something uh, in your interest. So just have a look. Um, you might find it helpful if you want to visualize your results. And also here, range scale factor basically does the same thing. Just uh, I wanted to show you that way because you can use the same stuff in all the lists and everywhere where you have these cells. So it works like uh, an Excel, more or less. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.